Hello guys, Cade here, and it's been a long time since I've done any sort of video, and yeah, I now I'm showing you how to make Minecraft not lag, it's an updated tutorial of the previous one that I've uploaded, um, I'm not sure what channel I'm putting this on, Kay's Plays, or my new one, Kay M, which is partnered, but anyway, um, yeah, we are going to make Minecraft more and much smoother than it is right now. So let me just load up a world and we can go get the FPS of the world. So if I switch this to full screen, hit F3, we are playing at a nice 60 FPS. Now that's really good seeing as I have it optimised for the best performance but I'm pretty sure maybe I could get it better but if I was not recording then I would get this at about um, let's say 120 FPS to 170 oh there goes my galaxy but um yeah so let me just save and quit that so what we want to do if we start from scratch what we want to do is we want to I'm not sure about you lot but I have my Minecraft folder um, on my places now if you want to find this then I'm not sure how to find it I have honestly forgot but huh, how do I do that I don't know but if you google it I'm pretty sure it will tell you how to go to your Minecraft folder I mean I'm pretty sure most people know anyway so you want to go into your bin and here's your minecraft.jar you want to move it to the trash and then you want to open Minecraft once again now log in and it will like re-download oh no never mind what you want to do is delete your bin folder sorry so now if you log into minecraft it will re-download minecraft so anyway while all that's doing that i want you to go to um about this mac and i want you to check your processor and memory it's recommend i would suggest minimum amount of memory is four gigabytes if you want to record and actually get a decent frame rate but I recommend 8GB and you can go to websites like Crucial Memory I believe and they'll get, they, you can get loads of memory from them so it's fairly cheap you just select your model oh wait that's not it I'm going to select Apple but um, yeah it's not hard and the processor if you have an i3 this tutorial will I guess it will help you more than if you've had an i7 but if you have an i3 or i5 then this tutorial will benefit you quite a bit so anyway um let me just or if you um, scan your computer then it will tell you what RAM you need exactly so now if we go into single player and then play the selected world I'm pretty sure the FPS might be a bit lower see it's a bit lower I'll go away oh, crap. I can't even run from these. Um, okay, they can stay over there. Oh, no, never mind. Okay, they're trapped in there. Or not. Okay, um, maybe I should try a different world besides my single player world. Actually, let me just switch to peaceful, that makes sense. Um, peaceful, there we are. So now you can see it's 5760. It's still quite good, but. I'm pretty sure that I can actually get this better. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to Google iStat Pro, and this is the most advanced system monitoring widget. Now, if you, um, I'm not sure what the key is on Mac because I'm not using the actual keyboard, but I have the key um, on my mouse, and it gets all the, it gets the dashboard up. Now, some of you might have this on your dock, but I don't seem to have this on my dock. But um, yeah, if you hit the dashboard up then this is iStat Pro and if you have one of the new iMacs or Macs whatever then you'll have quite a few of these and these are each of your computer's cores and it tells you how much work they're doing now I have 96, 7, 96 or 7 percent idle which is really good so and this tells you how much free memory you have which is also really good and once you've done that then you'll know that your computer is working at its um, optimum rate when you have quite over 90% idle put it that way so now once you've done that what you want to do is open my, actually no you don't want to open Minecraft yet you want to go into system preferences and you want to go to displays 
and you want to see I have a really high resolution now I can make the game perform much better if I do 1280 by 720 now the video will change a bit it's gonna look a bit more blurry but on YouTube it will look the same so yeah I'm gonna do now hopefully this is still recording um, my screen so I'm just gonna quickly pause it and resume it so bear with me Anyway, I'm back and everything's much smaller and a bit blurry, I guess, but anyway, that doesn't matter. Now, after we've done that, we want to go into Minecraft. Now, log in. Oh, there's my phone again. Log in. Go to Options, Video Settings. Put that on fast. Smooth lighting off. That's off. That can depend on your computing power, so I normally leave it on normal, far, and. Um, max FPS, bobbing off, advanced GL, that's give or take on off, that's off, that's off, and that's a minimal. Now, now we want to, I normally use snooper off, I mean it gives me an extra 1 or 2 FPS, I don't know why, but um, yeah, minimize that. Now if you're on a Mac and you haven't installed mods yet, then what you want to do is go into your Minecraft, folder then go to bin then go to minecraft.jar then you want to hit open then you want to open with archive utility and then that will unarchive the minecraft.jar you can move this to trash and then click on your minecraft folder that you've now created hit enter hit right on the arrow keys and then type in .jar and this will ask you if you want to add the extension and then you add that and then now you have access to all the insides of your jar file if you haven't or didn't know how to do this already and this is how you add mods so you want to get rid of this meta inf thing because this somewhat breaks mods for whatever reason and you want to minimize this and now what you want to do is you want to go into google chrome and go into the optifine thread and now you wish to so credit to this guy for making it now you want to hit this mirror, Optifine HD B3 stands for Minecraft 1.32. Hit the mirror, and then now we need to wait for the download. Or oh, I've already have it downloaded, so I just do that. And then if you click it, it will extract and be in your downloads. Here you go. And then you go in here, you hit Command A and then Command C to copy it, and then go back into your Minecraft folder bin. Minecraft.jar, click one of these classes and then press Command V and then you apply to all and hit replace. Now, if you open Minecraft again, you will see that. You'll see that. If you can get it on. If you enter the options and go into video settings, you'll have a lot more choice. Now, I like to keep the render distance on short plus 48. That's the one right before normal, which I guess it bumps up your. Um, performance a bit, smooth light completely off, GUI skill that's up to you and then you basically just copy these settings and if you go to quality off and leave all these stuff how it is actually no fast and yeah I guess you can just switch this that's off just need to like mess about with it really but I like to have these settings then we now want to quality nope that was in that details clouds fast fast off no leave the sky on that's actually that's up to you cinnamon on don't need those don't really need stars don't need capes fast and fast so there we go done texture packs mm, yeah anyway that's that and now we want to, I don't know, you can have that on, it's up to you really. Now you've done that, um, go to done, done, done. Now go back into the game. Now, if you've been in a world and you've explored it for a bit, the game will perform much better. But if it's a new world, then it will have a bit of lag, I guess. So now, if we go to F3, it's still at 60, which isn't really helping my case because, yeah, but usually this would be at about almost 200 right now um, but this has improved the performance a bit well not even a bit a lot like I can't really think of when this would drop lower than 59 or because it's not dropping at all 
you know if I drop down here there's not a single drop in FPS which is really good so I'm just waiting for it to drop but I can't see that happening anytime soon if I just quickly make a new world then you can see just how fast it generates and all that so waiting well this isn't really helping my case anyway um, if you hit F3 even when it's generated a new world it's automatically at 60 FPS and the game is ready to play straight away so that's really good and it hasn't really dropped for longer than a second there's my phone again but that's that and I'm pretty sure that you can just mess about with the video settings to bump up your render distance and you shouldn't really leave your FPS if you just bump it up a bit by bit like you can probably have it on far plus 16 maybe yeah see I can still keep it on this and it will still be fine so I can't see me pulling extreme but if I have it on far plus 128 maybe yeah I can still run it at that or if I can try even more 208 the FPS now it starts to drop but as you can see the FPS is, is still pretty high it's still recordable I guess but yeah and the program I use to record is ScreenFlow so let me just put this back to far because that's fine for me the program I use to record is ScreenFlow and you can get it from just google it and you can just buy it and it's nice to keep all your stuff in one folder it helps performance for some reason and that's that so you know, you just want to close all the other stuff I forgot really to mention that if you close everything it actually helps a bit but yeah anyway thanks for watching and I hope that your FPS has improved so yeah don't forget to like the video and comment because I read all comments